Welcome to class number six for the Old Testament. The Old Testament, now we're in the book of Genesis. Uh, Genesis chapter four to six. And this class covers the first family, the murder of Abel by Cain, the generations of Cain and Seth. We don't know for how long the first people enjoyed in paradise, but obviously it was not for long after the expulsion from Eden, the history of mankind begins. It is divided into two eras, before the incarnation of the Son of God and after the era before Christ, according to the Septuagint, has 5,508 years and includes two periods separated by the largest natural disaster, the Great Flood in 2,262 year from the creation of the world or from the Jewish Masoretic Bible, 3,247 B.C. So the Jewish Masoretic Bible and its translations have a different timeline because in that text, changes were made by rabbis in the second century A.D. Although the antediluvian history spans more than two millennia, the Bible speaks of it briefly in three chapters. After the expulsion from paradise, Adam and Eve had children. Eve named the firstborn Cain, which means acquisition or acquisition from God. Adam and Eve probably hoped that Cain would be the promised redeemer, but their hope was void, realizing that they named their second son Abel, which means mist. The sons grew up and began to help their father. Cain began to cultivate the land and Abel was engaged in cattle far farming and breeding. One day, Cain and Abel offered a sacrifice to God. Cain sacrificed the first fruits of the earth, and Abel sacrificed the firstborn ram from his flock. But Abel offered the sacrifice with faith in the promised Savior, and piously, while Cain did it without faith, from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4, the sacrifice of Abel was accepted by God and the sacrifice of Cain was rejected. Cain was overcome with jealousy as well as once Lucifer did in heaven. He is the firstborn and he is not favored. The merciful God warned him, Be still, sin draws you to itself, but you rule over it. But Cain did not listen. Calling his brother into the field, he killed him. The Lord tried to bring him back to repentance, asking, Where is Abel, your brother? But like Adam, Cain answered boldly, I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? And the Lord pronounces a sentence on him. You are cursed from the earth, and you will be a wanderer on earth. Cain trembled, not from remorse, but from fear that he would be avenged for the death of his brother. But the Lord forbade to revenge him in a hope that he he would repent, as Adam did. And Cain and his wife left their parents for another land. Adam and Eve, as well as their descendants, had other children in addition to those 
mentioned in the Bible. Thus, Cain's wife was his sister. Incest was not prohibited before the flood because God blessed people to fill the earth. The marriages of close relatives were safe for offspring because genetic mutations did not develop before the flood. The reason for this was the earth's atmosphere. It, like a real firmament, was so dense that people did not see the blue sky and the rainbow until the flood. The greenhouse effect provided a tropical climate on the entire planet. The water in the atmosphere did not let through the hard cosmic radiation that destroys DNA. Therefore, until most of that water poured out on the earth during the flood, people and animals lived for a very long time. And reptiles that grow all their lives reached gigantic sizes. For example, Adam lived 930 years, Seth 912, and Noah 950 years. For the same reason, the antediluvian fossils lack radioactive carbon-14 because it is the cosmic radiation that transforms nitrogen-14 to carbon-14. And evolutionary scientists referring to this lack of carbon-14 attribute the fossils to millions of years. After leaving Adam's family, the cursed Cain was obsessed with fear and built the first city, a village fenced with a protective wall, which he named after his firstborn, Enoch. The generation of Cain became, began to increase in the struggle with nature, the descendants of Cain learned to extract copper and iron and make tools for themselves. Being carried away by material well-being, the Canaanites did not care about the spiritual life and fell into countless vices. This direction of civilization was a dead-end path. A counterbalance appeared in the generation of Adam's new son, Seth, who was born after the murder of Abel. This generation was more spiritual. They began to call upon the name of the Lord God. This does not mean that before there were no prayers in use, but that the calling of the name of the Lord became a confession of their faith. The Bible calls the Sethites the sons of God in contrast to the generation of the Canaanites, who, for their godless, godlessness, began to be called the sons of men. The most pious of the Sethites was Enoch, who was well-pleasing to God. He was the first preacher and prophet who announced the terrible coming judgment of God on the ungodly. See Jude chapter 1, verse 14 and 15. As a reward for this high piety and fervent faith, the Lord took him alive from the sinful earth. See Hebrews chapter, 5, chapter 11 and verse 5. However, even the generation of Seth could not resist falling into grave sins. So finally, only one family of Noah was pleasing to God. And the Bible gives his genealogy. Tradition venerates Noah's ancestors as antediluvian patriarchs who preserved the right faith and moral principles. So ends class number six of the Old Testament books of Moses 
book of Genesis.